In this video, we're going to talk about how to properly tension your drive belt. And we're going to use the belt tensioning gauge provided by Woodmiser. And what we're looking for is 1 64th of an inch of deflection for every inch of span between the two pulleys. In this application, we have 28 inches of span. So we're looking for 28 64 of an inch of deflection, which converts down to 7 16 So basically what we're looking for is 7 16 of a deflection in this belt at the center point. We're at 28 inches, half of that is 14. So I made a mark at 14 inches. As a reference, I pulled a chalk line, cut it tight, and that is flat with the belt. And then we will take our tool and deflect the belt and check the pounds of deflection. Now this tool has an O-ring right here that you could set if you want at 7 16 I chose to just take a marker and mark it at 7 16 Alright, it just makes it simpler for me to see with my bad vision. And then with this rubber knob in the palm of your hand, we'll push down on the belt and when the red line is below the chalk line, that'll be our depth. So let me get set up and we'll take a measurement. In this application, we're looking for 14 pounds of pressure to deflect the belt 7 16 of an inch. Right on. This is your drive belt adjustment assembly. Your assembly consists of an upper hymen joint and a lower, two jam nuts, and a threaded coupler. You release the jam nuts, and then you turn the coupler. We have completed the belt tensioning on this old school LT40 HD, and we're gonna start working on a current LT50 electric. The electrics and the diesels run the same specs on the belt tension. When they're new, you need 24 pounds of pressure for 7 16 inch deflection. Once you've completed your first five hours, you'll go to 18 pounds of pressure for the 7 16 deflection. On these mills, it's easier to access from underneath the electric motor or engine from this bottom panel. With the access panel removed, we can see the larger components in the super mill. This will be a triple groove belt and a larger adjustment assembly. On this sawmill, we're not going to be able to use the string line as a reference, so I've rigged up a pointer. If your belt needs adjustment, we'll use the same procedure as before. This sawmill has auto clutch, so there's one more step. We need to disengage the clutch. And then we need to check for a gap. This gap develops right here, and you need a minimum of 1 16th inch and a maximum of 1 quarter inch. Ours is set at an eighth of an inch. Once that's complete, then you can install the access panel and you're done. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe.